Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome back. I am here today to do an update for the hashtag 365 days of lippies. This is going to be my February update and I am excited. I was able to get through all of the lipsticks from the picks that I had for January. And I think what I'm going to do for at least the start of this video is to show you the lipsticks that I fell in love with. And I, some of these I kind of knew that I loved, but some of these I was kind of surprised by. So I thought I would share with you the the ones, or I shouldn't even say lipsticks, they were lip items because there's a variety of things here. But the ones that I was like, these are amazing. I do have a couple of declutters and then there are a couple of things that I feel like I need to focus on in projects or at least put into a project sometime in the near future. I don't know when that's going to be, but I feel like they may be on their way out. So let me show you the lip items that I loved from this past month. The first one is this Dose of Colors lip gloss and the shade is in Messy Bun and I'll go ahead and show you swatches of all these because I love to swatch things. So well, let me show you the right hand. <laughs> that is that shade there. It is beautiful. It's a gorgeous formula, beautiful mauve color. Loved it. The next one is this Flower Beauty lipstick in the shade Spiced Petal. So that is what that one looks like. Again, gorgeous. Okay, then we have this NARS. I think this is like their full vinyl lip lacquer in Santo Domingo. And again, I, I don't know that I've seen a lot of these, but this is really pretty. It's very, it's very opaque. So that is what that one looks like there. It's very, very pretty. You can see a theme with these colors. This is actually an Ulta lipstick. This is in Play Nice. This is a bullet lipstick. So it's in this kind of packaging here. I don't even know if my camera wanted to focus on that. So that is that shade there. Super pretty. And then there's this Pat McGrath lip gloss. And this is in the shade Sunset Rose. Yeah, Sunset Rose. And there we go. There's that shade there. This is in Maybelline Almond Rose. And that's this bullet here. And this is really pretty too. So that's that shade there. My cat's talking. What's up, Milo? And the next one is Bite Beauty Pastille. So this is their, uh, these were their crayons. I think this was Matte Creme Lip Crayon. I think that's what it was. These bullets are kind of, uh, I'm sorry, these crayons are kind of um, hard to, there's that. These are kind of hard to twist up for some reason. And this one is one I had never used before. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Stay Exceptional. So that's this crayon here. And I like this a lot. So that's Stay Exceptional. Oh, Jesus Christ, do I have a family of colors that I like or what? Next up is one of the newer lipsticks in my collection is this Origins Lip Stick in English Rose. And this was very pretty. You guys, they're all the same freaking color. I mean, they're not. They're different. But they're in the same color family. <laughs> this one's different. This one's a little different. This is a, this is Bite Beauty. This was a color I created at the Lip Lab. Well, I shouldn't say I created it. This is a color I got at the Lip Lab. Uh, this was the Lip Lab in Brooklyn, right before shut down, in February of last year. And this was a color that they, it's called Brooklyn. And so it was a shade they had created specifically for that location. And so it's a little bit darker. It looks orange on on camera, at least for me, but it's a little bit more brown toned. So that's that one. That one was really pretty. This is a, this is Marc Jacobs uh, Lip lip Creme in Infamous. Yep. So there's Infamous. 
I'm making myself laugh. And then the last one I think that I have here is this, Ult this Ulta in this type of packaging. And I don't know if this is like their nude line or what it is, but this is in pink chocolate. So we'll put this one down here. So there's pink chocolate. So yeah. I know what I like. What can I say? Okay, so those were my favorites. <laughs> All right, and then let me show you the declutters. Now, these were declutters for a variety of reasons, and I will share with you why. This first one is, it, it's a Bite Beauty amuse-bouche lipstick, and it is in the color Souffle. This looks terrible on me. So, I purchased this because of Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill. I mean, what, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? It looks terrible on me. I've tried this in the winter. I've tried this in the summer. It looks terrible. And I finally was like, why am I keeping this? Why? I don't like it on whenever I put it on. It looks awful on me. I should just declutter it. So goodbye. This next one is a Mary Kay lipstick in red salsa. And the formula was really nice. But the color on me looked really orange, surprisingly. It yeah, I don't, it looked really odd on me. My girlfriend, Maite, gifted this to me and I sent her a picture the day that I wore it and I was like, I think it's too orange on me. It's just, it's it doesn't work with my skin tone. And then this one is the Urban Decay in Rock Steady. So this was part of like the Gwen Stefani collection. Okay. Is my camera gonna focus on this? I mean, do you guys see what's happening here? Yeah, it's time to let that one go. I was not gonna put that on my lips. So goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so, and it doesn't necessarily smell bad. Yeah, it didn't smell bad, but it looked suspect so I was like nope not putting that on my lips so the two that I felt like I needed to start panning at some point is this bite beauty lipstick in Aquarius now this is actually in a project right now it's in my monochromatic pan project so it is getting some use and I'm happy to report I'm doing very well with it surprisingly and it is this shade here it's a little bit of a challenging lipstick for me to pan because of how dark it is but it's starting to get that offness about it and I mean it still smells good yeah it still smells good but I kind of feel like it may be close so I kind of feel like I need to put that in a project and the same with this although it's interesting because I have it's it's very full it's a very full bullet I mean I don't I don't necessarily know that I've had this that long but I kind of feel like it's starting to to go the same way this is max up the amp and I love this color. It is beautiful. It's going to be more of a summer color for me. It's so, so pretty. But yeah, I think I think that needs to go on a project at some point this year. All right, so that was January's kind of basket. One other thing I will say, I kind of thought that I was going to declutter this. This is the Jeffree Star uh, Liquid Lipstick and Doll Parts. And it actually was fine. Yeah. And so, you know, it's funny. I think I've worked on this and you can actually see some like, um, you know, windows there, which I was like, oh, maybe I'll put this in something. Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put this in a project. I don't know. You know, liquid lipstick stick forever. <laughs> so why would I do that to myself? All right, so let me take this stuff off and then we will pull out the iPad and find out what we're going to be using for February.
which is super exciting. Get off my hands. There may be a few things in here that I have since decluttered. I don't know. I didn't really I forgot to go through here and take some things out. So we'll just, we'll just deal with it. I don't want to see the ad. <laughs> okay. Here is my wheel of names and let's just go ahead and get started. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was the different, that was a different one. Okay. Mark Jacobs enamored high shine gloss and skin deep. So that was one. By Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Fig. House Laboratories La Riot Lip Gloss in Entranced. That's like one of the few House Laboratories lip products that I have. Ha! We have a Stila Color Lip Balm Lipstick in Misty. I might not be able to find that. <laughs> we'll see. I think I was doing my inventory and I'm not sure if I could find that one. NYX Pinup Pout in Almost Famous. Do you want to even focus, camera? Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Chai. Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick and Matte, matte Lipstick in Bittersweet. Tom Ford Girls and Boys Lipstick in the color Valentina. Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips Lipstick in JK Magic. That's beautiful. Let's see, how many have we done so far? Nine. This is 10, so we're picking 28. Revlon HD Lip Vinyl in Date Night. Thrive Cosmetics Lipstick in Emmy. This color took me forever to just pan that fourth of the bullet last year. L'Oreal Colory Shine and Glossy Fawn. I love that formula. ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Super Cute. At least we have we have a good variety going. Milani Color Statement Matte Lipstick in Matte Flirty. By Beauty Amuse Bouche in Thistle. Pat McGrath lipstick in Valletta. Panning that towards the end of the year, but okay. Bare Minerals Gen Nude Li Liquid Lipstick in Weekend. All right, we're at seven. This is 18. ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in Bell. This is 19. Lip Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Believer. And this is 20, I believe. Charlotte Tilbury Another Hot Lips in Amazing Amal. Tom, another Tom Ford in the color Addison. We have a matte, ooh, MAC, matte lipstick in Velvet Teddy. Uh, 
uh, Bite Beauty lipstick in Honeycomb. This will be good because I have to make a decision if I want to declutter that or not. And after this, I'm going to check and see where my numbers are at. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Scandi. That's going to be tough because that's a bright ass pink. Ooh. 24. So this is 25. Stale Day. Ooh, Stila Stale Day Lipstick in Co Coquille. Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Anarchy. Clinique, uh, we have another Clinique uh, Pop Lip Gloss in Vino Pop. I had Pino Pop last month. And we have one more. MAC Amplified Lipstick in Craving. Okay, so let me pull these and I will be right back. Okay, red lipstick is so hard not to get all over my face. Hey guys, I'm back and I have my products and I have a cat. So I have pulled everything and we have a decent variety. I think there's, let me count, 20 bullet lipsticks. I have a lot of bullet lipsticks. So 20 bullet lipsticks, one little measly lip liner, two liquid lipsticks, and then five glosses. So let me show you guys the bullet lipsticks. So we have two from Tom Ford. This one is in the shade Addison. I'm not going to swatch all these, but this is in the shade Addison. And this one I have used a lot and um, it's a nice one. This is in the shade Valentina. And so it's a bit of a darker berry. I want to say this is more of a sheer formula. I could be wrong. It's still there. And then we have one from Kat Von D. And this is in the shade Magic. Oh, there's a cat here on it. This has like little bits of glitter in it. So I've contemplated decluttering that lipstick before. So the next lipstick is from Urban Decay. And it is and bittersweet and it's like one of the revolution lipsticks in the matte formula so that is what that one looks like it's a purpley shade and then i have two from charlotte tilbury <laughs> two from charlotte tilbury and these are their these i mean these are both beautiful packaging so this is from her hot lips 2 collection so this This one is an amazing Amal. I'm sorry. This is in JK Magic. Oh my gosh. Mm. And this is the shade for JK Magic. And then I don't think I've used this one. I've swatched it. And then this one is Amazing Amal. And this is another one that I have not used yet. So I've swatched it, but I haven't used it yet. Okay, and then we have one from L'Oreal. And this is their Color Shine lipstick. And I've used this. And this is in Glossy Fawn. And I love this formula. But my favorite in this is the Varnish Rosewood. It's beautiful. And then we have one from, no, two from Stila. This is in the shade Misty. And I think this is like really sheer. Yeah, this is super sheer. So it's almost like a, I mean, it's a color bomb. So there's that one. And then I also have Coquille and I have worked on this one before. And again, it's kind of a gray toned shade. Gray toned mauve. My color story apparently. And we have one from ColourPop and this is from the Disney collection. This is in Bell, and I have not used that one. That may have had a cat hair on it. I'm sorry. This is from NYX and it is an Almost Famous. I remember I was super excited to get this and then I never used that. <laughs> this is a Thrive Cosmetics lipstick and Emmy. This is the only lipstick that I have from them and there's freaking cat hair on this too it's a beautiful color oh my god but I tried I did my whole like fourth bullet use up on this and it 
took forever last year. I moved the camera because I changed the battery. Okay, so moving on. Two from MAC. One is in the shade Craving. So I worked on this last year. It's beautiful. And then the other one is in Velvet Teddy. And for some reason, I thought that I had started using this and I, I never had it. It's, an, it's a mini sized. So there's Velvet Teddy. And then we actually have three from Bite Beauty. And these are all minis. And they are two of them, which are, I mean, they're all brand new. It, I mean, they're brand new in the fact that I've never used these particular minis. I've used Honey comb before and it's very light it is a color that I typically use as a mixer it looks like I've swatched this so I use this typically as a mixing shade I may declutter the last one out of these and then this is the shade chai which is gorgeous and then I have thistle which scares the heck out of me oh lordy that's very gray toned. We'll see about that one. I have one Pat McGrath and I used this one last year and it is a sad, sad case for a lipstick. Look at this bullet. Oh lordy. This is in Valletta. This is the Lux Trance. And then I have a Milani matte lipstick in Flirty and I have I think just swatched this and it's a beautiful berry shade. And then the last bullet that I have is I wanted to show you this is in the sh this is a Vice lipstick I'm sorry Revolution lipstick in the shade Anarchy it's the Urban Decay lipsticks and it is this bright pink shade and the reason why I wanted to show it to you is because I was really worried whenever I picked this which is a ColourPop lip pencil in the shade Scandi you guys I only keep this in here because you never know when you need you're gonna need a bright pink fluorescent pencil because oh my goodness oh, are you gonna focus on my hand for crying out loud hold on Look at that. I mean, look at how bright freaking pink that is. Okay, it does not look that bright on camera, but it is bright pink. Like fluorescent pink. So I was like, how am I going to use this? And then whenever I pulled this out, I was like, oh, how lucky am I? Because those go very well together. I'm a lucky lady. So, yay, those will work out well. What are you doing? <laughs> Okie doke. Okay, so these, those were the bullet lipsticks and then the pencil. And then we have two liquid lipsticks. So I have this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Believer. So it's the super bright or I guess deep purpley shade and then I have a bare minerals I don't know what the I don't remember what these are called but they're liquid lipstick in the shade weekend and this looks a little orange for me so it may and it may go on the chopping block we'll see okay so then I have five lip glosses the first one is this Clinique gloss in, um, this is that Marimekko packaging that, that was from that one I had last month. This is in Pinot Pop. I'm sorry, Vino Pop. And then I have a Marc Jacobs Enamored, the Enamored High Shine gloss in Skin Deep. So very similar to Sugar Sugar. It's just a little bit darker. And then I have this Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in the shade Date Night. I remember I went looking for these and I was like, I need that color. Never used it. And then I have this ColourPop Ultra Lip Gloss in the shade Super Cute. This was part of the Hello Kitty collection. So cute packaging. And the last lip gloss and the last lip product for February is this House Laboratories as a Kathleen Lines would say it. La Riot lip gloss in the shade Entranced. I got this when they first came out. I love Lady Gaga. I wanted to support her. I saw her in concert in Vegas last year. Last year? No. October. Year before. She's amazing in concert. Oh my gosh. 
So I wanted to support her. I haven't tried this. I would like to try it. So those are for February. So I'm super excited. I think this is a great collection. It's interesting. I feel like there's more high-end stuff this month with like the Tom Ford and the Charlotte Tilbury and yeah and there's obviously still there's all this these Bite Beauty lipstick the shades that I haven't tried yet. Yeah I feel like there's a good I feel like there's a good like mix here and some potential declutters. So anyway. Yeah, Ziggy, you're throwing me off my game. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited about this month, and I can't thank Jessica enough for basically creating this project or this challenge idea, I should say, because I think it's so fun. I had so much fun last month going through my bin every day, kind of picking a new lip product to try out. So I'm excited to continue that into February. So again, like I said, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. How many times can I check that? I've been burned so many times. I'm gonna check it like a hundred times this video. I need some gloss. You better not be fucking around with me. My cats are making so much noise. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Zigster. Come here. Hi. Hi. Come here. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hi. What are you doing? You were missing the first half. What are you doing? Don't scratch my face. <laughs> oh yeah, you look like you're gonna do something. Hi. You look a little rowdy. Okay, I'm gonna, don't jump up there. Don't do it. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> don't scratch the chair. Ziggy.